sixth chapter title, the number 30 bus. The fourth Muslim backpacker, Hasib Hussain, who has been blamed for the number 30 bus bombing, is reported to have been seen wandering around London, going into McDonald's and eating a beef burger. He is reported to have tried unsuccessfully to contact the other three by phone on Euston Road outside King's Cross at 08.55 a.m., but the phones were not working because they were first of all jammed and then shut down by the authorities. What happened to him? He was the youngest of the four, only 18 years old, and described by those who knew him as a gentle giant. Therefore he was possibly the least worldly wise, and he was also on his own in a strange city and a long way from home. He might not have realized he was in danger of being framed as a patsy, believed all the chaos around that part of London was just part of the mock terrorism exercise that he was part of, and so just continued with his assigned role, which was to board a certain double-decker bus at an appointed time and sit at the back of the top deck. A double-decker upon which a large advertisement for a play had been placed on one side, reading, Outright Terror, Bold and Brilliant. Please think about that sign on the side of the bus and the sick minds of the people who planned the attacks. Now this is where it gets weird because we are told that Hasib Hussain started from King's Cross Thameslink station and was seen on a number 91 bus travelling west along Euston Road to Euston Station where he caught the number 30 bus that would have then travelled east, back along Euston Road, retracing his steps, back to where he started from at King's Cross, if it had not been diverted into Tavistock Square. Why would someone carrying a large heavy backpack do that, unless he was following a script, written by someone who knew in advance that that particular number 30 bus registration LX03BUF would be diverted into Tavistock Square and that Hasib Hussain would therefore not be able to get on it at King's Cross Thameslink which is where he had arrived at on the train from Luton. Only someone who is a stranger to London would do that without asking why because it is a totally illogical thing to do for someone who knows London and knows that the number 30 bus goes past King's Cross Thameslink station so that they could have caught it there instead. It would have been a complete waste of time, energy, money and an unnecessary risk to take and thus a totally illogical thing for a real terrorist to do. It now gets unbelievably weird because the number 91 bus that Hasib Hussain is reported to have taken from King's Cross along Euston Road to Euston Station to board the number 30 bus registration LX03BUF that got diverted into Tavistock Square actually goes to Tavistock Square. So, if he wanted to get to Tavistock Square he could just have stayed on the number 91 bus and been sure of getting directly to Tavistock Square. The number 91 bus route goes from King's Cross to Tavistock Square. That is conclusive proof that that particular number 30 bus registration LX03BUF was part of Peter Power and his customers mock terrorist drill pre-rigged with explosives, like the three tube trains, and was pre-planned to be diverted into and blown up in Tavistock Square, rather than blown up by a backpack bomb. 
Whoever planned this obviously planned to kill Hasib Hussein with that bus explosion, so he could not tell anyone what had happened. Just as they had planned to kill the other three Muslim actors with the explosions on the three tube trains. At 0900 AM, a number 30 bus registration LX03BUF left Marble Arch on its return journey to Hackney Wick. It arrived at Euston bus station at 0935 AM and was then diverted from its normal route into Tavistock Square and stopped outside the medical offices of the BMA where it was blown up at 09.47 a.m. as part of the terrorist exercise gone live. This also fits with the BBC Panorama Mock Terrorist Programme of May 2004 where the explosion of a road vehicle was scheduled to take place after the three tube train explosions.